Good morning. Unless maybe you're a Heat fan. It is time to skip the BS. Time for Undisputed. Time for Keyshawn Johnson and Paul Pierce and I to rate, debate last night's NBA play in action, starting with Heat, turning up the heat on the Sixers in Philly. Sixers getting booed off their home floor at halftime. Then the Sixers battling back to win the third quarter by seven and the fourth quarter by six and the game by one. Man, I was extremely impressed with the Heat in the first half, and I was even more impressed with the Sixers in the second half. Uh-oh, Paul, I was thinking of you last night. I thought, well, <laughs> I, am I seeing two potential threats to your Celtics, both the Sixers and the Heat? Though Shams now reporting that Jimmy Butler, with his knee injury, his MCL, is out for multiple weeks, which I assume means for the playoffs. So, Paul... Bigger picture, what did you see in this basketball game last night? I think we saw a good old bar fight, Skip. Was, I was, was, I was excited fight. about that yeah, one. It, it, it reminded me. Good old Eastern me. Conference bar <laughs> good old fight. Eastern yep. Conference, mm -hmm. early 2000 yep. game. Uh, a lot of jockeying going on with You uh, played in coaching. a couple of those, right? Yeah, I played in a yeah. couple of those. Yeah. Uh, I, mean, I was thoroughly impressed with the heat the first half. And uh, first thing I noticed was Spolstra. You know, I, you forget sometimes because they haven't, you know, they haven't won a championship since the LeBron days, but he's been to the finals twice in the last few years. He, to me, in my eyes, he's the best coach in, in basketball, hands down. I, I, I really that way. I, I think so I because... Think I, I got Ty Lue in there somewhere, but go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah but, I mean, I look at the, the talent he's been able to work with, and I thought at the beginning of this game, I was like, that he really got a chance to win. Because before the game, I was like, nah, you know, they probably get wiped off the floor. But he threw the zone, he threw the traps. He did. He threw every scheme that you can think of at the Sixers. And I was like, this looks like a great game plan. Jimmy Butler was all over the place looking like he's turning back into Jimmy Butler. Yep. I mean, he came out with like four steals in the first yep. quarter. He did. And it looked like he was going to just will them to, to a victory right out the gate. They just came and smacked Philly in the mouth. And, uh, you know, but they adjusted after the half. And B settled down to the triple teams and the double teams, and I thought he did a great job at finding open guys, you know, especially Batum. You know, Sip, and, and Keyshawn, when you want to make a run at a title, you got to have a lot of uns unsung heroes throughout the road. And when we saw that last night with Nicholas Batum, obviously, uh, knocking down big shots after big shots, making great defensive plays. And what about the one play I thought was a, one of the biggest plays? Again, when he got the rebound and kind of flipped it over his head, I don't know how he made it. Oh. But, you know, plays like that is what wins you games, especially games that they need. Um, but as far as potential threats to the Celtics, I, I think maybe only the Sixers because they have an MB, MVP <coughs> caliber player. And, you know, it, it, they were second... In the, in the Eastern Conference, Philadelphia was second in the Eastern Conference when he was healthy. They were 32 and eight with Embiid in the lineup. So that says something, you know. It they, does. That says something, does you know. It say so, something to your Celtics. No, no, no I don't really say no. much. No, but it says something. Mm -hmm. We own, we own them, Skip. They haven't beaten us since what 82, mm -hmm. maybe 80. I don't know. <laughs> early 80s. <laughs> I don't know, you know. But you know, we we don't take it. We can't take anybody lightly because last time we did that with Miami Heat last year. We lost in seven games. So I think it's a different mentality this year. Uh, going into the playoffs, we have yet to see, but we'll see. And so hopefully they learn from that. But I, I like what I saw from Philly and their grit in the second half. They, 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 they came, they got punched in the mouth. They like, we're a gritty team too. And, and like I said, it was back and forth. I, I love that type of game though. I, I mean, it was just big shot after big shot after big shot. And B came through. This is what you want your superstars to do down the stretch. I'd be say. superstars. And he made big shot, big offensive rebound, big three, big assist to Kelly Oubre for the and one. I mean, probably the biggest assist of the game. And, and they, they did what they needed to do and held on. Now, the Knicks is a different story because the Knicks owned them. And they blew him out in the, in the game that Joel and B played. So that's going to be a, another bar fight beat him, series. Beat him three out of four. That's going to be another you know? bar fight series. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm telling you, that's going to be a bar fight. And... I know on paper you want to say to the Sixers, but I, maybe the Knicks might get them. Really? The Knicks may you get them. You willing to go there already? I hope they don't, as much as I don't like the Knicks, as much as I don't like the Lakers. Hmm. But, I mean, the numbers... Sounds like you got Knicks. No, I don't got Knicks. The Knicks won the series 
So I think Philadelphia didn't gets the Knicks, next. Didn't the Knicks uh, blow the, uh, the Celtics doors off like they a did? Weeks ago? Mm -hmm. uh, they was uninteresting. <laughs> no, no, I'm they just. Was, I, 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 we they, they started. They started. They played. Yeah, Paul. they did. They, they All just... five, six, seven of them got on the floor. <laughs> they put their shoes on. I want to hear nothing about we wrapped it up already. You played. I'm just saying. We if all, I can remember, all, they blew the doors off. Y'all know regular season wins don't mean nothing as much as they do in the playoffs because you can put put your put your chest out and feel good about a win on, on Boston Court, but when you get sent home, that's a different story. That's a different feeling. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, but I, I like yeah. what I saw from Philly, and, and you can't deny that Philly has won nine in a row with Embiid in the lineup, and so they're playing with a lot of momentum right now. They are. You know, the question, I guess, would be, where are the Sixers in terms of the Celtics, right? Is that is that what we... Well, they got to get through the Knicks. I was going to say that, that. that Yeah, but but in this situation, I think we assume, based on them having Embiid back and Embiid being healthy, that they get a chance to see the Knicks, they're going to beat the Knicks because the I, eye I'm and the pride... Sure, I'm not sure that's may not, a given. That may, they may I'm lose to them. I'm not sure them. that's a given, though. That, that may, Knicks 3-1, 3-1 well Knicks but on the, the series. But the question isn't about the Knicks. The question is about the, six, the, the Sixers and the Celtics. Are they a threat, or can they be a threat to the Celtics if they see them? And mm -hmm. my question would be yes. As long as Embiid can play at the level on a consistent basis and he's going to round himself up into much better shape than he is right now. Because you can see he was kind of, at times, late in the game, even though in the fourth quarter, 11 points, mm -hmm. he mustered down with four rebounds, he played defense couple steals. I mean, he did some stuff, a couple assists. He did some stuff that made you go, okay, if I can get that for four quarters, what I got in the fourth quarter, then it's going to be a tough matchup. But here's what I would say defensively for the Sixers, if they are to see the Celtics, based on what Tyler Hero was able to do to them in the fourth quarter, shooting those threes and knocking those things down, you got to be careful if you're the 76ers against a team that that's all they do is shoot threes. And if they get hot, then they're going to blow the Celtics, are going to blow you off the floor. So that adjustment needs to be made defensively, and I'm sure, I'm sure they, they, they'll take a look at that if they get to them. But just like most teams in the NBA, in my opinion, it all starts with your star. Whoever your yeah, top sure. dog is has got to and bark. you're confident in Joel Embiid. Especially now. Especially no, now. No, no, but yes. you're confident in Joel Embiid based on what we've seen in his history of the playoffs. But, 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 he, he see, see he, Paul, he, he, you, you, there you go again. <laughs> it applies to the Celtics. I mean, it applies to Joel Embiid, but it doesn't apply to the Celtics. Now, all of a sudden, you're ready to tell me, based on his history... Against the player, Celtics. But against the Celtics. You can say the same thing about any player that has bad series against somebody. I mean, he played That's good one pass. game, and then when you need it most... I, I see. Can I see. Not, but can he you not? He pull a David Field on. But you. can you not change <laughs> I mean, at some on. point in time? Enough's enough. In his opinion, I'm sure John B. will be looking back and saying to himself, "Enough's enough. I'm tired of failing against the Celtics. If they see him, I've got to play better. I've got to do my job. I got to do a much better thing. But I need Maxi to come. I need. I need." Uh, Kelly Ebray to do his job. Tobias Harris, he's got to start knocking down shots and not looking like he doesn't belong. If they can get all of those sort of things, of course they're going to be a threat to the Celtics. No matter I mean, the Celtics. only threat because they got a top five player in the MVP. Yeah, but the, that's the, I, I, well, that's, I'll give them that. That's enough. The, recipe, uh, the recipe for this uh, championship every year, and you should know this, Skip, and you definitely mm -hmm. should know this, is to win a championship, you got to have a top five player. Got to have. You got to have an MVP caliber player. And that's the that's the number one recipe. That's and one. Then, whatever you surround that with, whatever you you know you put your your meat and potatoes in the pot, then whatever you know seasonings you put on that. See, I feel like you got to have. I feel like out. you got to have an MVP type, but then you got to have an MVP type B guy like a Maxi that comes because you can't win. Look, as much as we like to point no, no, to, no, no, not necessarily. Cause, How could cause you Joker? Because Joker got Murray and he's not even an All Star in the league. But, yeah, but, but he should have been. But Murray be cooking, though. Yeah. I, don't yeah, know why, I don't know Murray. why he's not an all-star. No, Denver got a lot of similarities. I mean, Sixers got a lot of similarities to Denver. Because think about if you got Joel Embiid... I agree. And, and, ...and the Joker, they match up well. Okay. And then you got Murray and Maxie as your second-best player. Mm -hmm. Sixers should have all that.